I'm Dr. Laura Sheehan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to answer the question, am I more fertile after a miscarriage? I'm Dr. Laura Sheehan. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist and miscarriage specialist helping people build families for over 15 years. And I want to help answer this very common question. Am I more fertile after I've had a miscarriage? I hear this question from patients all the time. And this is not something that I learned in medical school or my training in fellowship and reproductive endocrinology and infertility. But I hear it so common for my patients like, okay, I've had a miscarriage and should I try again right away? Because I've heard that I'm more fertile. And I just kept hearing it over and over and over again. And if anything, when I was going through my training and fellowship and residency, I was told that patients should wait three to six months before they even try again. Now, when you are ready to be a parent and you are building your family, hearing that you have to wait three to six months if you are emotionally ready and physically ready to try again can feel like torture. So that's what I heard in my training. And then I'm hearing very different stuff from my patients now. And so I was tried to kind of put this together. And when you try to look it up, you will read from many different sources. Some sources say, wait for a while to try to conceive. And others say like, you really should try right away again because you are more fertile and almost kind of pushing patients who might not be ready physically or emotionally into feeling pressured. Like, oh, I'm more fertile now. So I, I have to try again. And I just want to let you know that studies and evidence are conflicting. And at the end of this video, I really want you to realize that you can try again when you are ready. The most important thing is to talk to your doctor and your healthcare team about what is right for you. But I want to address this really common suggestion, you know, whether you want to label it as a myth or a rumor or sort of, you know, medically, where does this come from being more fertile? So in looking at the studies, you're going to get a mixed picture. One study published in the journal Human Reproduction in 2003, first author is Hassan, was looking at women who had a miscarriage and just followed them um, as they were trying to build their family. Almost 3,000 women, which is a really powerful number, and it was questionnaires and just follow up to sort of see what happened in the future when they were trying to build their family. And basically what they found was that women who had a miscarriage took longer to conceive a subsequent pregnancy. So their conclusion is that having a miscarriage actually decreases fertility or increases the time to the next pregnancy. But I think the study that people are talking about where they get this assumption that we're more fertile after a miscarriage is from a different study published in the same year, but a different journal. The journal is Fertility and Sterility, and the first author is Wang. And the study was looking at about 600 women who were recently married, not using contraception, and just actually following them monthly and doing monthly um, urine uh, pregnancy tests and seeing how long it took them to conceive and um, and sort of what happened in their early marriage and trying to build their family. And what's interesting is they found that people who had a biochemical miscarriage or a positive pregnancy test followed by a late period, an early, early miscarriage, were actually much more likely to conceive in the month or two or three months after that biochemical miscarriage. I just think you're gonna find different recommendations, different studies, different ways of looking at it. But I think I found the study where this rumor, myth, recommendation came from. And so I just wanted to share that with you. So when you're sharing with your friends, oh my gosh, I had a miscarriage, and they say, oh, you should start trying again right away that is where this is coming from and you should talk to your doctor about your personal situation you should make sure you're physically recovered completely from the miscarriage emotionally recovered completely from the miscarriage you may be more fertile and i love that if that encourages people to be more confident in trying again because Every pregnancy is a new opportunity. And if you do try again, the most likely outcome is a successful pregnancy. But I don't want people to feel pressured to try because they have been promised that they're more fertile and they're going to miss this fertile window if they don't try right away, if they're not ready. So if you're ready and your doctor and your healthcare team says go for it, then try. And I wish you 
best of luck in your next pregnancy. For more resources on miscarriage and recurrent pregnancy loss, please find me on Instagram, my website, drlaurashaheen.com. And I've written a book on miscarriage and recurrent pregnancy loss. It's titled Not Broken, An Approachable Guide to Miscarriage and Recurrent Pregnancy Loss. I really want people to get information on the evidence, treatment, testing, so that they can be advocates for their own care. I hope that book helps you. You can find it on Amazon. If you learned something in this video, like this video, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.